we found really quickly though is remote only did fundamentally not work. We weren't able to move at the speed we needed. Um, and there was a whole host of reasons that we sort of stepped back and really started to study, right? What's the culture that we built? You know, how did we make that personal connection with individuals? How do we really make that feel more real? So the first slide was really trying to step back and be deliberate about how to create those opportunities, whether it's social events and virtual happy hours or the yeah. Zoom bingo, you guys all remember that stuff. But it really <laughs> matters for folks to say like, and get to know each other. As I learned, you know, one of my teammates, you know, used to get nanny by Howard Stern, actually, right? Oh, wow. uh, <laughs> you know, another guy just bought a job right. as a factor, right? And these became really, you know, um, we joke about them, but really powerful anecdotes. Some guy was a waiter at 99 before he went into healthcare. Yeah. Met his wife there. And the ability to have those connections was powerful. I will say, though, they were insufficient. And so that next level of struggle was there was really, we're solving really complex operational uh, challenges, right? That the Zoom environment or the virtual only were just not conducive, right? Yes. And so the balance we really have to strike is we needed people back in. And the question was, is it a forced one day, two day, three day a week? Or is it ultimately how do you create opportunities and get creative, right? Well, there's our leadership team. We started meeting once a month in different geos and we would allow people to come in and visit with us, right? And we started to build these opportunities for us to get together, for teams to get together, and for folks in those communities to get together. I'll tell you the productivity improvements that we mm -hmm. saw, you know, we sort of raced a few extra months ahead just after the first few times we did this um, in a lot of our product roadmap because folks had the ability to get together, build relationships, build trust. And you all know, again, the same way we're in this room together, it's more powerful. Those moments were fundamentally more powerful. And so I think this, this real tension of how do you meet the needs of the person and, and create that level of connectivity and choice. But fundamentally, that's, that's sometimes going to run into conflict with the needs to deliver a certain kind of an outcome. And I yeah. think that's a very real tension we'll all have to continue to kind of live with. So what I heard you say was really, I think, really powerful was that there's a downside to the remote, but then we need to get creative as to finding the value and how we leverage remote to create value, but also how we leverage in person mm -hmm. to create a special value whenever we do do the in person. And that's really important. 